Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today I have another 12 by 12 process video for you and I am digging way deep down in my stash for this layout. I'm going to be using some Nuvo Drops and it's been a while since I've used Nuvo Drops and every time I come back to them it's like a it's a whole new love, a whole new joy um, and it makes me love them all over again. Um, so if you have some Nuvo Drops, this is your reminder to pull them out and use them. Um, I know that for many of us, we forget to use products, sometimes things that we love. Um, and so I'm so glad that I pulled them out. So I am documenting two photos from Mother's Day weekend. Um, these were different dinners that we had for Saturday and Sunday. Um, Saturday, Greg fried some chicken and I made mashed potatoes and green beans. And then on actual Mother's Day Sunday, he made um, a steak and I did baked potatoes. And it was just a really good, <laughs> it was a good two days of dinners. <laughs> um, two of my favorite things. He asked me what I wanted for Mother's Day and, or like for dinner, and I told him steak. And then I was like, I also really would like some fried chicken because he hasn't, he hadn't fried chicken in, you know, several months, probably like five months. And so I don't fry food. I don't like to fry food. I just don't like it at all, <laughs> but I love it. So we, we get it about once every couple, once every about four months, four to five months. Um, but yeah, it was super, super good. And so I took photos of my plate and, um, wanted to document those. So when I said I dug deep into my stash, I wasn't lying. Um, this collection is from Pink Fresh Studio and the collection is called My Favorite Story. I believe that this collection came out in 2019, I want to say, yep um 2019 and so I really don't have much left of this um I'm using a lot of scrap paper here um and this is one way that I really like to create layouts without using a sketch or without any kind of inspiration um is starting with scraps that's already in the collection that you've already cut into and just kind of seeing where it takes you. Um, I really, really loved this floral paper, but I didn't have a large piece of it. So I just cut it in half and layered it at the top and the bottom. So it makes it look like it's a big piece of paper. Um, and then for the rest of everything else, I'm just using them as layers and I am laying all of the photos and the papers down. Um, and I'm just trying to figure out what looks good to my eye, like what's pleasing to my eye. Um, and so your layers, if you're creating a layout with layers like this, your layers might be larger, they might be completely different, um, but you can start with your scrap paper that you have out of the collection. So I think I have one sheet of 12 by 12 paper left um, in this collection. And then I have a couple of scraps left and I have um, the ephemera left here, the floral ephemera and the regular ephemera. But really, I don't have a whole lot of that left. Um, over on Patreon this month, I started a new series. It's called Use It Up. And at the beginning of the month, I am digging into my stash, pulling out an older collection, and I'm going to be using that collection for the whole month and all of the layouts that I create over there. And I am going to be trying to use up as much of the collection as I possibly can. Um, I'm, I'm finding that... I obviously love new collections and I love getting new stuff just like everybody else, right? However, I have a really large stash and I personally don't like, I don't like to hold on to a whole bunch of stuff. I like to use it and I'm starting to notice that I'm having, I have a lot, I'm, I have a lot more than what I used to have, which, you know, again, isn't bad. 
um, but I want to use it because I bought this stuff because I like it and I want to get them on layouts and I want to use it. So if you're interested in that or interested in art journal videos or any other kind of stuff that I post over on Patreon, head over there, check it out. The link is always in the description. Um, we also have a private Facebook group and um, we just, we have a lot of fun. So if you would like to join the community over there, we would all love to have you. So I pulled out the floral ephemera and um, to be honest, I love, y'all know this, I love flowers and I love the floral ephemera and I'm glad that I got it because the regular ephemera, almost all of the ephemera pieces have words on them um, and I'm not really a big wordy person, um, but I'm going to use several of them on the layout because I, I wanted to use up some things. Um, so the little um, black piece that I just used says, let's go create stories to tell. And then the little banner up there at the top right hand corner says, make today great. And then this little tag just says love. And then I'm also going to use this little, I think it's a hexagon piece that has a, a um, capital T and then it has today under it. I'm also going to use that piece as well. This uh, frame <laughs> is uh, really old. I'm not quite sure where it came from, but I have like all of my little chipboard frames um, together. And so this one kind of matched. It was the similar blue. Um, and so I decided to use that as another little place to do a cluster. And I'm going to add some pop dots to that and just layer that over top of the frame and over top of those two little kind of floral um, ephemera pieces. And then I'm going to do another cluster up here with this little banner and some of the really, really tiny flower clusters. They're so cute. I am going to pop those up on pop dots as well. Um, even though they're super, super tiny, I just cut down my pop dots and um, popped them up because I like the dimension that it adds. Um, and then I'm going to add some clusters of the Nouveau Drops in all three of these colors. I think I'm going to do four different clusters because I had four different cluster, like little embellishment clusters on this layout. Usually I'm a three person, but for this one I did four and I like it. I think it still looks good. Um, and I just, I love this layout. The colors in the photos are very bold with the red checker kind of, um, it's a table runner on our kitchen table and it's kind of bold. I know it doesn't really match what's happening on the layout, but I don't really care. I just, I like this. Um, I personally love it and that's why I wanted to use this collection. Um, so yeah, I love Nouveau drops. I love, love, love them. All right, friends, I don't know if I can find any of these products, but if I can, if they're still available anywhere, I will try to link them down below, but they are much older products. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not going to be able to find them anywhere. Um, and then the last thing, I'm just going to add a small title that says yum. And that is going to be my layout for today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know um, if you celebrated Mother's Day. And if you did, what did you do? I would love to know. I hope you all have an amazing day and don't forget to spread love and be kind. Bye friends. <music>